Well, hello again from Kingston, where it's been an unusual week. We lost a day Wednesday to severe weather, and on Friday, a concrete pour was cancelled by a thunderstorm and torrential rain. But we still got a great deal done, so to follow events, please keep watching, and thanks for doing so. Let's open this week with one of the crowning achievements, the paving of the car park by the library on Gore Road. The work was conducted by Williams Paving on Tuesday and it transforms the East End. And it reflects the considerable work done by the Tomlinson team to prepare. Elsewhere on the East End this week, the team from Linkline Fence have been very busy welding the brackets that will hold the cross pieces for the final portion of the fence. And our very reliable friends from Sousa Ready Mix returned to complete, amongst other things, the median on the lower part of Gore Road, and a number of areas requiring minor attention. It would be entirely inappropriate to leave the East End this week without remarking that Williams Paving did a brilliant job on several other areas while they were here. But wait, there's another East End tale to tell. It was noticed that a lot of gravel was being taken from the temporary causeway this week. Investigation revealed that it's been coming to the East End where it's being used to build up the base of the lower laydown where a holding pond will be. This rising shot from the West End on Monday shows the state of the west abutment with the first reinforcing rods in place. By day's end, however, this is the transition made by the amazing iron workers of ABF. Work throughout the week would include the creation of the form for the dividing wall. A quiet little concrete pour towards the end of the week produced the results you see here. Elsewhere on the West End this week, the bar construction crew was very busy with various tasks. There always seems to be a great deal of spoil to be removed. Drainage swales have to be sited and sorted and working in a restricted area, it's always necessary to move material around. By week's end though, work to remove the old asphalt road approaching the bridge was well underway. And the results by week's end could be very plainly seen. So after looking at the east and west ends, that can only mean it's time to look at the bridge itself. It was certainly a hint of things to come that a great many wall forms were seen on the steel span. Forms and rebar were also noted being placed on Pier 17's diaphragm. Preparations were clearly being made for a concrete pour. But on Thursday, it was Pier 11 a diaphragm that had been prepared earlier that actually received concrete. There had been a concrete pour earlier on Tuesday too to complete span 9. As we've all come to expect, this one went flawlessly. However, when the time came on Friday to pour those wall forms we saw earlier, the fates treated the crew less kindly. Everything was going really well in bright sunshine until a sudden thunderstorm and torrential rain brought about an immediate and understandable cancellation in the interests of safety. 
We'll go to wildlife this week, noting, hopefully, that there are preparations to clean up the East End, and looking at how things stand at either end. So that's another busy week under our belts and uh, we're definitely heading for the home straight. Who knows what sort of weather we'll have next week, but uh, it's always fun to see. And if you want to see, please consider subscribing to get notifications and to follow these updates. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.